Hey guys, welcome back to Maji the Priestess channel. Today I'm going to be doing Pisces reading for the month of January 2022. Okay, please remember this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, and yeah, this is going to be it. I'm going to be checking in for your energy in January. Okay, Pisces. Um, I do see some of you guys have been in like hermit mode. Um... I don't know. It's like you're going through some type of transformation here, Pisces. Spirit says there's some type of fulfillment. It could be a wish fulfillment or something here that's going to really fulfill you happening in this month of January for you. Some of you guys were, I'm hearing rebirth, okay? It's like you are either giving birth to an idea or this is your own self. You're, you're coming out of this egg and you're coming out as a goddess here, okay? This is all energy, male or female, it's just all energy. So let's just get right in it, right? Let's just see what's going on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video, guys. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get um, notices of when I'm going to go live, okay? A lot of you guys know I like to go live. So... Thank you ahead of time for your donations as well, your likes, shares, and your comments. You guys are amazing, okay? I'm so grateful for you. All right, Ancestor Spirit Guides of the Highest White Light. I just heard ring the bell, so maybe I should ring the bell or there's some type of notification. Yeah, it could be a notification, the notification bell. Not, not on my YouTube, but maybe something happening with you like that. Like you might just get a... A message, an alert, something like that, okay? Let's see. All right. What is the overall energy here for Pisces in the month of January? Ooh. You could be dealing with an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay? Imagination. I'm hearing spirits say just, I'm going where the wind blows. Maybe this is how you feel. Like, I'm just going where the wind blows. Okay? Maybe you don't know what direction you're going in or some of you guys are letting your imagination kind of drive you to your destiny the card that came out is union as you guys see i see a wedding ring here too so there might be some type of proposal there's some there's love in the air for sure there's love in the air um maybe you're planning on getting married or maybe you just got an engagement ring or someone around you okay this could be your energy or somebody around you energy here but there's a union we will get more clarification i also do see a couple jumping in the back here okay and this gives me like um this is not just any union this gives me like a divine counterpart okay <clears throat> let's get one more oracle from this card and then we'll go into the tarot yeah transformation i told you you're going through some type of transformation here i heard evoking all right, Ancestor Spirit Guides of the Highest White Light. What's going on here with Pisces? Tell me about this union here. I see happiness. I see you meeting someone or maybe you've met someone. Exactly. Beautiful Pisces miracles, my love. Double the rainbow. Double the rainbow. There's two miracles coming towards you, okay? And one I definitely see is in love. You're just going to feel like this January, there's going to be some type of miracle, something that you've wanted. Exactly. Something that you've wanted. This was an opportunity, this was an opportunity you've wanted. This gives me divine feminine energy. Like I said, God is energy. Confidence, beauty, receptivity. Ooh. All right, Spirit wants to guide me to the book here. Let me see what this um, union piece says here. One second. This is union. Okay. Union. There's the U. Okay. One second. So maybe you have to have patience or something because or maybe you're trying to find the answer to something.
And, oh, here it is. Let's celebrate, dance, and sing. Okay, the Lord and Lady, Queen and King, unite together. Wow, hearts are one. Sacred marriage. Yeah, some of, someone here is literally about to get proposed to. You're going to meet the love of your life that you're going to marry, your future spouse. Or you can actually be getting married this month. Um, this magic is worked with harm none. So, okay, let's see what it says here. Wow, it says prepare for a hand fasting ceremony. Commit to a relationship. Commit to yourself and service to spirit through vows of dedication. The union of a partnership's bring great blessings make a promise to always be true to yourself and love is the answer so there's definitely you obviously loving yourself pisces i feel like this is why you're manifesting but there is great love here all right there is a promise of a great true love here a partnership somebody wants to commit a life with you for eternity let's let's see okay this is an opportunity it's going to be feel like a miracle here is what i'm getting all right <clears throat> let's clarify with some tarot yeah this could be this could be a soulmate past life lover or someone from the past let's see I'm searching for that real love. yeah this is you pisces the hangman yeah you've been on some type of stillness here um or your relationship was at pause. Something was at pause in your life. But now I see something moving forward for you. Let's clarify this union. Spirit, what is this union about for Pisces? What is this union about? Clarify union for Pisces. Ooh, and the sun. Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. Do you see the sun here? Happiness. There's just so much happiness and miracles and opportunities. Like... I just see portals opening up for you. Literally. The sun is the best card in tarot. The fact that it's with union, it's like there's just gonna, there's going to be a very happy commitment here that somebody wants to offer you. You could already be in union with this person. Take what resonates. We have the ten of wands. I feel like it's been a long, long journey here. Okay, there was a lot of obstacles to overcome, a lot of burdens. But finally, the sun is coming out in this union. Somebody really views you as their happiness. The seven of swords, yeah. Tell me more about this union with the sun here for Pisces, month of January. Somebody wants to put in the work. You could work with this person, but I feel like this is somebody that wants to work on this partnership. They want to work on this relationship. Four of Pentacles. They were holding back their energy. Um, this could have been somebody that felt like they had a lot of responsibilities to deal with. I see a child. Your person could have a child or you could have a child. Um, they were struggling with money. Somebody here was struggling with money. Maybe this is why they... Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Maybe this is why they were pulling back their energy. Yeah, the truth, that's the truth, says spirit, and that's the higher fence. So definitely Taurus energy. Somebody wants to commit to you. That's the plain truth. Somebody wants to speak to you, speak their truth. They've had a breakthrough. They've had clarity. Something has been illuminated. I feel like they realize, like, it's you, Pisces, okay? It's you that they want, yeah. Whoever, whatever else is coming towards them, they don't want it. They just want you. Ten of Cups, exactly. You're their happiness. They're fantasizing about expanding with you, building something with you, especially a family, kids, okay? And this is you, Pisces, right here. Would have got a heart of gold, okay? Tell me about this miracle. Tell me about this miracle, spirit. Clarify miracles, actually. Remember, it's with an S, so it's several miracles. We have Sagittarius, the Temperance card. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Five of Pentacles, okay? So what I'm getting here is something is finally coming into balance in your life. There's been a lot of loss, abandonment, envy around you, jealousy, people competing around you, okay? Um, definitely somebody could have been doing spell work on your finances here, okay? But I see, like I said, I see this angel protecting you. 
protecting this miracle that's coming. There's a brand new path opening up for you, Pisces. Okay? And this angel has been intervening, protecting you. So something is divinely guided. And there was divine intervention because someone here did not have the right um, attitude or energy towards you. Definitely envious energy here. Okay? Tell me about this miracle. One more. Clarify miracle. Yeah, look. The devil card. Capricorn. Definitely there is a toxicity. It's like... That's also a miracle, okay? You moving away from toxic individuals. I just split it on the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. You're going to have some type of victory and success here. Yeah, and it's coming very soon. Very, very soon here. I see expansion. You're expanding in something. Transformation. All right, clarify this um, opportunity. What's this opportunity coming towards Pisces? The Wheel of Fortune. Good karma is coming towards you. Also, destiny is calling you. There's an opportunity for you to take a leap of faith. All right? And then we have the Knight of Wands. I see you following your passion. Ace of Wands. Definitely brand new beginning. More creativity. More energy. More passion. Uh, definitely Ace of Pentacles. There's a brand new opportunity here. I do feel like there's, a, there's someone here that was acting like a knight. Very player energy here. You guys could have taken a break. Tell me about this opportunity. But this person is coming towards you to offer you a cup of love here now. I do see this person still in a night energy. I don't see any kings yet. But the fact that the Hierophant is here indicates this person does want to expand. They do want commitment with you. I definitely see somebody getting proposed in some way or another, this person behind the scenes, it's like working, trying to save up money. Okay, Leo energy, nine of cups. Exactly. You're getting some type of wish fulfillment here, Pisces. Let's continue with more. Okay. There is going to be some jealousy around these miracles here. If somebody feels like you're highly blessed. All right. Clarify the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. There's the devil. Again, Capricorn. I keep hearing block. Somebody might have tried to block this connection. There's the Hierophant again. And the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the lovers on the bottom. Gemini. Okay. So this person is obsessed with you. They could have some sort of like um, toxicity, addiction... All right, that they were dealing with. I feel like this person has been transforming, working on that. Um, it could have been a commitment issue. Maybe this person just likes to sleep around, right, and not settle with anybody. But they're seeing that they want to settle with you, okay? And if this person has some sort of decision to make between you and someone else or something like that, they're choosing you, Pisces. They see you as the truth. Um, they've had clarity about you. If there was any confusion there, all right? Clarify the devil one more. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is obsessed with you. You're coming up as the queen of wands, so you're hot, you're freaking sexy, you're handsome, whatever, okay? You're highly intuitive, attractive, confident, okay? So your confidence is really magnetizing, is what I hear, and it's making this person come towards you, your beauty, okay? So yeah, this person is obsessed with you. They do feel like this is divinely orchestrated, as you see the angel here, okay? Somebody has realized this. They know that you are their divine counterpart. That's why we have union. Exactly. This person has deep emotions for you. Maybe they never told you, but I see somebody here literally illuminating this whole relationship and bringing you clarity. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, that's the proposal. That's the proposal. I'm telling you, somebody's getting proposed or this person might offer you commitment, okay? Take what resonates, but this relationship is ascending to a higher level. They want to offer you a fresh new start, something solid, something where you guys can grow and expand here, right? Okay. Tell me about this miracle with the five of swords here. Ace of wands, again. There's going to be a lot of passion, okay? Passion here. Tell me about this miracle coming towards Pisces. The Empress. Okay, so somebody is trying to get you pregnant as well. I heard passion is sex. I just didn't want to say it, but spirit <laughs> spirit just threw it right out, all right? So I don't know. You may be having some passion is sex this month as well with this. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign just like you, okay, or a fire sign, whatever sign it is. Heavy Taurus, energy to Capricorn. 
okay either somebody wants to get you pregnant or you're going to find out that you're pregnant if you're a female watching okay or if you're a male watching you know you got somebody pregnant here which is your divine feminine your empress you're coming up as the divine feminine right you are a goddess you are um definitely divinely protected somebody is truly attracted to you there's so much chemistry i see you and your power bringing abundance because the empress has everything right like she is the queen above all queens first of all but she um she's attracting things into her life she's not chasing anything so i see you attracting this miracle into your life pisces and i see you standing in your power like i'm the empress you understand so i feel like a lot of people are turned on by you you're gonna feel more creative too tell me about this um empress and the ace of wands you're closing out a cycle here you're closing out a cycle. That's the truth, says spirit. And you're going to get clarity about something. Five of Cups. There is that energy around you here. It's like somebody's highly stressed and envious around you. I don't know why I'm picking up on this energy now. But yeah, they're watching you. This is somebody that watches you or is watching you get miracles and success. Clarify the uh five of swords here why is the five of swords here your angels are protecting you no matter what and there's that four of wands again there's a celebration you're going to be celebrating you're, you might be attending a wedding or this might be your wedding somebody might propose i'm really getting this kind of like i want to commit to you is what i keep hearing okay somebody wants to marry you point blank period 11 11 this is that twin flame card okay so i'm definitely going to take that out this was somebody that was holding back okay but the sun is here so they see you as their happiness i see you celebrating something that's going to make you so freaking happy this is somebody that wants to expand with you as well have kids with you um yeah the magician you're manifesting this you're manifesting this miracle all right tell me about this knight of cups coming towards pisces tell me about this knight of cups Three of Pentacles. There could be a third party here involved, right? King of Swords. There we go. Our first king could be an air sign. This person is going to message you, okay? So you are going to be getting some type of love message from somebody that perhaps was involved with somebody else or this was somebody that you worked with, okay? Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Chariot Cancer, Four of Swords. Somebody can't sleep thinking about you. Maybe about how they did you wrong, how they betrayed you. Somebody's acting like everything's fine, but they really want to text you. Maybe they're dealing with a darkness. If this person did not betray you, then they're dealing with some sort of darkness around them right now that's stressing them out um, from coming towards you. But I do see somebody now coming towards you, okay? Maybe driving to your house or something like that. Um, they will message you. Yeah, three of swords. Mm -hmm. this person feels hurt right now you might feel hurt or betrayed this could be your energy but this person can't sleep now okay i feel like that's that karma somebody is going to go through some sort of karma here for hurting you there's that third party situation so there are three people involved here you your person and somebody else cancer energy maybe you um there was some sort of secret here that's going to also uh be exposed about this third party okay Yep, two of cups. <coughs> and there's your emperor, Aries energy. I'm, de I'm definitely getting twin flame vibes. Not gonna lie, all right? This is a twin flame connection, but you can label your own relationship. I'm just letting you know that what I see here, this emperor was coming up as a knight, okay? Maybe they were romanticizing you and whatnot, and they weren't committed, because I see somebody as a player here only wanting sex from you, but now this person wants commit wants commitment from you and they feel hurt that they had to keep this relationship a secret okay um two of cups because you are their love this person is gonna apologize to you for sure yeah for sure let's get the love oracle since i'm seeing all this love in this reading there's a yeah there's a certain angel here helping you like manifest a miracle of some sort i 
feel like this is a love that you wanted. This is an opportunity and love that you wanted. All right, tell me um, what's going on with Pisces here, Spirit, with this union. You have the lovers and two of cups. Definitely, this is an intense love. And like I said, this person may have children for you with somebody else. All right, what's going on here with Pisces for the month of January? All right, we have love yourself first, which is what I said, right? Your self-respect is making you more attractive. That's the empress. You, you put yourself on a pedestal. You knew your worth. You turn your back from people that were giving you lack, were, were not giving you enough. And since you spoke your truth, you're manifesting here somebody, new love. Exactly. This is for some of you, new love. Okay? You're manifesting new love because the one that you were in, this person might have hurt you, betrayed you, <coughs> put you in a third party. It says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Pisces spirit, Pisces for January. Tell me about this love. Keep an open mind. Some of you guys have got to keep an open mind about this connection here. Soulmate. Exactly. This is also like my twin flame card, this soulmate. So it could be a soulmate for some of you. It's a twin flame. You take it how it resonates. Yes, this is your soulmate. So whoever you're thinking about in your head, all right? Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, we have the empress and the emperor. You guys are literally like... Some Jay-Z and Beyonce divine counterparts here. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody has realized that you're their soulmate here. Yeah, and they're wearing a mask. They were deceiving themselves here, trying to hide their feelings. Unrequited love. This third party here, this person doesn't have feelings for this third party anymore. But they're codependent in that other relationship. But this person wants to, yeah, trust. This person wants to trust and make the effort here with you, though. It's like they really trust you. They feel like they can trust you. You're calling in a soulmate, Pisces. You're manifesting. You're calling in this miracle. You're calling in the person. Like I said, you're calling your future spouse. That's what I'm calling this reading right now, possibly. You're calling in your soulmate, your future spouse. You're calling in a soulmate. Look at this. It's chemistry. The chemistry is going to be there. Some of you guys already met this person. Some of you guys are about to meet this new lover. There's chemistry. So much chemistry. This person like literally only thinks about you. Yeah, release your ex. But somebody has to release a third party, some sort of ex or karmic energy here. All right, but the attraction is there. The chemistry is there. Let me just write down the title before I forget for you. So Pisces calling in soulmate. Future spouse. I'm just going to clarify to see if there is some type of proposal right engagement here so one second clarify this ace of pentacles clarify this ace of pentacles yeah this relationship is ascending to a higher level says spirit okay clarify this ace of pentacles need time takes time time to heal yeah you both took your time to heal the cycle is closing reminiscing this person is looking at your pictures reminiscing about the past spirit is this person going to propose with this ace of pentacles yeah this person wants to date you they may ask you out on a date because you're their happiness you're literally their utopia there is a karmic in here guys i did tell you there is a third party karmic here that is blocking this connection and look what's on the bottom of the deck engagement ring dude i told you this person is trying to get away from this karmic because he or she is a snake all right it's like this person does not feel this love anymore. Mind you, this karmic has been in competition with you while you're not in competition with anybody because you're the empress. There is an engagement ring here, Pisces. It says engagement, partnership, commitment, right? Somebody does, for someone here in particular, there is an engagement ring. For others, like I said, this person wants to date you now. They want to offer you commitment. They don't just want to sleep with you, okay? Yeah, they're trying to make some healthy choices because they know how insane this chemistry is with you. It's literally insane, okay? So that was the verification for sure. There is an engagement ring here. Perfect. So congratulations if that, you know, message resonates with you. Um, let's see what else Spirit has for you before we close out. Uh, give me one card from here, Spirit. One second. 
Okay, so we do have deceit, right? Like I said, it could be this karmic. There is some type of deceit around you here. Um, I did pick up on that J uh, hate, jealousy vibe, okay? You could be feeling um, spiritually attacked. We also have attachment. So this is somebody from the past that has not moved on, has not what does not want to change. They're kind of attached to your energy, like a soul tie. This may be on you or your person. I also see somebody here paying for spell work. And I see two fives. Anxiety. Yeah, this person is under a lot of anxiety here. I feel like it's this karmic crying. Yeah. One more. What's this deceit? Yeah, caring connections. This person is coming towards you because he or she cares about you, Pisces. Yeah, this person is thinking about you. I'm, I'm getting like heavy air sign. This person could just be in the head a lot. Could be overthinking, but they're thinking about you constantly. But there is like envy and jealousy and anxiety here um, of letting go. I feel like the karmic energy does not want to let go here. Let's get one or two messages from here. And then we'll end this reading, right? How does this person feel towards Pisces? I can't hold back no more. I want you, just you, you, and you. And this is supposed to be like fire, like a chemistry, right? So this person just wants you. Only you. They don't want anybody else. Okay, it's over. Break up. So this person did break up with this third party here, okay? That thing is over. Um, that relationship is over. And yeah, there's children involved here. This is a baby mother or a baby father. Will I see you again? This person's wondering if they're going to see you again. But obviously they will because I'm hearing it was love at first sight. Okay. Look, unrequited love. They don't love this third party. This is your divine masculine sending you this energy, okay? You're calling in your divine masculine. I don't feel enough for you yet. This is why they were holding their energy back from you in the past. They didn't feel like they were enough for you, especially you um, being represented by an empress and they by a knight. Though now this divine masculine has matured, they do have the confidence they need to come towards you. All right? They are coming towards you. And they want a union with you. Okay? Though I feel like behind the scenes, the karmic definitely has been doing spell work. Okay? Like revengeful, competition, that kind of shit. All right? Um, thank you so much for watching, Pisces. If this message resonated, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to donate to my channel, you can do so through my cash at PayPal down below. Happy New Year. God bless. Peace out.